welcome to Substation 33, where we'll teach you to take this and turn it into a 3D printer. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to mount the LCD next and uh, prep the plastic panel. We're going to cut a hole in it later. But first we're just going to put the little LCD spaces on the back of the LCD. So I've grabbed four um, M3 screws, the standard standard screws, um, probably about 10 mils long. So it's got to go through the board and then into this, into this plastic. So let's grab one of your screws, start with one of the corners. And we're going to screw into the the hole with a notch in it, so you can see in the second one. And it can be tricky to get started, so sometimes I grab a screw with a point on it, but you may need to. And the spaces are all going to face in like this, so like that, you're going to face inwards. Because sometimes these plastic panels are narrower and the boards are too wide for the panels. That's why we've made these spaces. So I'll, I'll attach those four and then we'll move on to the next shot. Right, so we've screwed those little LCD spaces on. Um, so we're ready to actually put it on to the printer. So grab your, grab your whole assembly and we'll just, um, just hold it there. And we're going to put it, uh, we're actually going to put it 40 mils, the top holes are going to be lined up 40 mils down from the top edge of the sheet. So I've just grabbed the ruler and we'll just mark a, we'll just mark a line. Come down 40, 40 on this side. And draw a line across. We'll clean the lines away later with methylated spirits and a paper towel or a tissue. So now we need to actually find the distance. We're going to measure the distance between the holes. So we're gonna we're gonna run to the internal holes. Do it this way so you can see what I'm doing. See so we're about um, 100 and I'll just double check that. 115 millimeters between the holes. So that's we'll just mark that onto our panel here. Should really do it properly. So 170 panels, 170 wide. So I'll mark 85 as the center, and then 115 will be. So it's just 57 and a half. So those are the positions for the holes, the top holes. And then we've got to measure down for the position of the bottom holes. So we're going to measure the distance between, again, I have to do it upside down. And we're pretty close to 50 millimeters. Yeah, 50 millimeters will do. So 50 millimeters down. And we'll 
cheap for these ones, so you can just put a little, little line there. And we can sort of just check it as well by lining it up on the back just to make sure we're approximately the right place. about right. So I've grabbed a drill and the drill is, we're going to drill these out at 3.5 mil. So we're going to drill slowly. Right, so we've drilled the holes and we can actually what we'll do next is mark the position for the connectors. So we're going to cut a hole in the, in the back here for the connectors to come through as well. Because they stick out vertically now. The old boards used to come horizontal. So we're going to just, just sort of hold it in front. And it's in the middle, it's pretty much in the middle of these connectors. So it doesn't have to be exact. So I'll just put the board behind approximately and mark the position. So approximately there. It's a little bit off centre. And we can just come down 25. To get the hole in the middle, we'll come down 25. And we'll pilot drill it with three mil, three and a half mil. And then we're going to grab a, a 28 mil hole saw. This is the same hole we used uh, for the power power connector. So it's got enough room. It's got plenty of room to get these ribbon cables through comfortably, and so the ribbons aren't crushed together too badly. So again, we're going to cool that bit. So we, yeah, we've got to stop every you know couple of seconds, five to ten seconds, or, and then cool it in water. So I'll get rid of our LCD so I don't drip water on it and then we'll start drilling. We've gone over halfway, so we'll come come through the other side now, in the other direction. Ended up coming through quickly at the end, and that's it. Right, so we're going to finally screw on the LCD. So I've grabbed the ribbon cables that come with the LCD, and we've got to put those on because you can't get them on afterwards. So once you put that on, you're pretty much stuck. It's very hard to squeeze them in there. So put those on first. And so we've got also got some four M4 screws. They're about 20 mils long. So they've got to reach through the 8 mils of plastic, that's why they have to be a bit longer. So you've still got it, you know, you've got um, 12 mils of reach into the plastic, into this, into this plastic, into these spaces. So we'll, we'll connect the connectors. And then we'll take our assembly and start feeding it through. So here we are, we're going to feed the connectors through first. 
pulling through. Make sure your boards are the right orientation so the, the knob should be on the right. And then just uh, finger tight the screws. Into the spaces. And the reason we use a slightly uh, bigger hole here also is to give you a bit of play because the holes aren't exactly lined up. And then just do them up and don't over tighten them because you can't crack this perspex, it's fairly brittle. Okay, so that's done. So next we're going to plug in the, the connectors into the, um, the little daughter board, which will then plug into the ramps. And so you've got to get the orientation right, but if you don't get it right, you're not actually going to damage anything, so you're going to fry the electronics to get it on. So I usually just, um, just run my, my hands down the cable to make sure it's, the connectors are both sitting the same way. And they've got a key in them, so that'll actually just key into this. These two keys on the end of the connectors will key into these two slots on the connectors. So you just need to orientate it into the right direction. So that just should just plug in like that now. And it's ready to plug into the ramps. So take that down to our ramps. And I usually line up the bottom pin on the connector and then work the connector up and then just make sure that this top top uh, header lines up and just push it home. And that's pretty much it. Now we can actually just power it up and test to make sure that the, the Mega, the ramps and the LCD are all connect, connected and working. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.